Number one is that the iPad does not have enough storage for DJ. This is simply not true on so many different levels. Uh, for one, you could get a new iPad Pro with two terabytes of storage, which is about a quarter of a million songs. So I think that would be plenty, plenty of songs, plenty of storage for DJing. But also, if you have an iPad that has less storage, maybe cheaper one, because the, the ones with the more storage are obviously going to be more expensive. You could get a simple adapter like this, and with the DJ Pro AI app, if you have a USB-C iPad, you could you you could use storage from either a USB stick, so you could have all your music on a USB stick and stick it into one of these USB ports, or you could even have the whole uh, external hard drive that you could have as many songs as you want. So that is the lie number one. The iPad definitely has enough storage for DJ. Now, number two is there are no professional DJ softwares for the iPad. Now, this one you could argue, but the reason why people would tell me that and people would say that is because obviously Serato, which is the most popular professional DJ software, is not available on the iPad and probably won't. And other popular professional DJ software like Rekordbox and Tractor, they have apps, but their apps aren't really that great. But with Algorithm's DJ Pro AI app, it it completely changed the game. And with all the new updates, it brought DJing with the iPad on the same level or even more advanced, in my opinion, than Serato, Rekordbox, and all the other professional DJ softwares. So, and the DJ Pro AI software works a, a lot better and it is designed a lot better for the iPad than it is on their version for the laptop. So definitely DJ Pro AI is a professional DJ software and whether you've been DJing for a while or you want to just start DJing now, it is a great option for a professional, stable, high, um, frequently updated DJ app. Number Number three is going to be that using touch screens is not real DJing. And this this is something I used to hear when I first started DJing with the iPad, which is like 2014, 2013. And most of the DJ controllers didn't really have touch screens. But now with controllers like the like the mix um with the Mixstream Pro and all these other professional big DJ controllers, they have screens and some of them even have screens the same size or in similar size to an iPad. And a lot of them you can control the effects and can control the waveforms with the touchscreen. So I believe that touchscreen is the best for DJing because with a laptop, you have to touch the keyboard and it's not as interactive as having a virtual DJ deck on the screen. And I believe that in the future, the new controllers are just going to be one big touchscreen, and then you'll be able to download new controllers, new skins and stuff, and have whatever controller you want on that touchscreen, and I'm really excited about that. Number, number three is that there's not enough that it can't handle DJ software. DJ software requires a lot of stuff going on, a lot of store, uh, not only storage, but a lot of processing power, and... There was a time when laptops, uh, MacBooks, and PCs were more advanced than mobile devices. But now in 2023, the more focus is on these iPads, on these iPhones, and the technology is getting insane to the point where in some regards, the iPad is more advanced than a lot of laptops. So, I and also if you take in the augmented reality and virtual reality side, which I believe is where DJing is going in the future. The iPad has so many, so much more capabilities like an accelerometer, at, uh, a LiDAR detector, and all this stuff that could be used and is already being used in DJ Pro AI and other DJ apps to make DJing with the iPad a lot more, a lot better than DJing with a laptop. Number four is going to be that no one will take you seriously if you're DJing with an iPad. And obviously, this one was one I heard when I first started DJing with the, with the iPad back in 2013 and 2014. And 
it's just simply stupid. There, there's no reason why an iPad cannot be a professional DJ device. Uh, I think looking at a laptop, typing into a laptop looks a little bit more silly. It looks like you're an accountant writing an email what, rather than someone that's DJing. So I believe that the iPad is a professional DJ device and you shouldn't be ashamed bringing it to your gig. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I really hope that you guys DJ with your iPad. Have a great time DJing. And if you found value in this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel.